Hello, I'm David Swanson with MathsWithDavid.com and today we're going to look at a Cambridge International A-Level Pure Mathematics 3 question. It's a question on complex numbers worth a total of 9 marks. So to start with I'm going to read out the question carefully and then we'll look at the solutions to each part of it. The complex number W is defined by W equals 22 plus 4i over 2 minus i squared. 1. Without using a calculator, show that w equals 2 plus 4i. 2. It is given that p is a real number, such that a quarter of pi is less than or equal to the argument of w plus p, which is less than or equal to 3 quarters of pi. Find the set of possible values of p. The complex conjugate of w is denoted by w star. The complex numbers w and w star are represented in an argon diagram by the points s and t respectively. Find in the form the modulus of z minus a equals k the equation of the circle passing through s, t and the origin. OK, so our first part we have to show that this w, this fraction, is equal to 2 plus 4i. And whenever we're simplifying fractions, we want to get rid of anything complicated on the bottom part of the fraction, anything difficult like square roots, or in this case, imaginary numbers. So we're going to try to clean up, if you like, the bottom of the fraction. And if you look, we've got 2 minus i squared there, so one way to do it is to say, let's start off by expanding what we've got on the bottom there. So 2 minus i squared is 2 minus i times by 2 minus i, which is 4 minus 4i four minus 1. So if we collect the like terms, 4 minus 4i four minus 1 is 3 minus 4i. So we have 22 plus 4i over 3 minus 4i. Then we have to ask ourselves, how are we going to get rid of this i on the bottom? And we use the simple technique using the formula for the difference of two squares. We know that a minus b times by a plus b equals a squared minus b squared. So we know we have to multiply the bottom of our fraction, in this case by 3 plus 4i. And obviously being a fraction we need to multiply both the top and the bottom by 3 plus 4i. So we get 22 plus 4i times by 3 plus 4i all over 3 minus 4i times by 3 plus 4i. Using our difference of two squares formula, 3 minus 4i times 3 plus 4i is 3 squared minus 4i squared, so that's 9 minus minus 16, so that's 9 plus 16, so we have 25 on the bottom of our fraction. And on the top of our fraction, if we multiply out, 22 times 3 is 66, we've got 22 times 4i and 3 times 4i, so a total of 25 times 4i, which is 100i, and 4i times 4i is 16i squared, which is minus 16. So we get 66 plus 100i minus 16 over 25, which collecting like terms gives us 50 plus 100i over 25, which we can then see dividing both terms by the 25 gives us the 2 plus 4i, which is what we wanted. So in the second part of our question, we're interested in the argument of the complex number. We've got this, uh, this inequality that the argument of w plus p is between pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4. And we're told that p is a real number. So the simplest way to approach this is to draw an argon diagram, to draw the x-axis, the real axis, and the y-axis, the imaginary axis. And we think, well, what does it mean to be between pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4? Well, on our argon diagram, pi over 4, 45 degrees, is a diagonal line going from the origin up to the top right there. And 3 pi over 4 is the, the equivalent line in the, in the second quadrant going up to the top left. And so if we put those two lines on as dashed lines and we consider our point 2 plus 4i, because the, the number that we're adding is a real number, 
we can only move to the right or to the left and we have to stay between these two lines. So we need to think, well, when are these, what's the limiting point where these, these lines, these border lines uh, will be crossed? And what we can see is because this is, this is 45 degree angle, the, on the right hand side, where y equals four, x must also equal four at the points where, where these lines cross. And on the left hand side, also y equals four, so x here must equal minus four. So we've got these coordinates minus four, four, and minus four, four, i, and four, four, i, where the, where the lines cross. And so the answer to our question is saying, what's this p that we can add on, this real number that will keep the, the argument between those two points? So the, the largest number of p that we can add is, is two, because if we go beyond two, then we're going to go beyond that, that intersection point. And the largest number we can take away is six, because if we go beyond six, two, uh, minus 6 is minus 4, so we're going to go beyond that point. So our answer, our p, must belong to an open set from minus 6 to 2. In our third question, we're told that our w, our 2 plus 4i, is one point on a circle, and that its conjugate, 2 minus 4i, is also a point on a circle, and that the origin, 0, 0, is also a point on this circle. And we have to find the equation of, of the circle in this modulus form. So we're told the form we wanted it is mod of z minus a equals k. So let's start again with a sketch of the Argand diagram and think basically what our circle is going to look like. We've got 2 plus 4i as one intersection point, 2 minus 4i and 0, 0. So our circle should look something like this. And what we notice, because 4i and minus 4i are the same distance above and below the x-axis, the centre of the circle is necessarily going to be on the x-axis. So our a is going to be a, a real number, so we can think of it as a comma zero. So because our a is a real number, it's actually, and because zero zeros on the, on the circle, a is actually the radius of the circle. So this lets us rewrite our mod of z minus a equals k, as mod of z minus a equals a, because we know a is actually our radius. And then using our circle formula with the information we've got, if we take our point 2 plus 4i, we've got 2 minus a all squared, plus 4 minus 0 all squared, because the, the y coordinate of the centre is 0, is equal to a all squared. Just applying our formula of the circle, x minus the x coordinate of the centre squared, plus y minus the y coordinate of the centre squared equals a squared. And so we can expand that and we get 4 minus 4a plus a squared plus 16 is equal to a squared. Our a squares then cancel out and leave us with 4 minus 4a equals minus 16 or 4a equals 20 or a equals 5. So we can write it back into our equation is the modulus of z minus a equals 5. So let's think about the mark assigning. There's three marks for each part of the question. We'll look at the specific places where these marks are given. So the first mark is given for correctly expanding our 2 minus i squared to get 3 minus 4i. That must be accurate as 3 minus 4i for one mark. The second mark is a method mark which is given for applying the difference of two squares formula and multiplying both top and bottom by 3 plus 4i. You get this mark whether the final answer is accurate or not for applying that formula. And then the final answer is for continuing the logical equation to make it equal to 2 plus 4i. So your, your part of your, equation, your expression to the left of the equal sign by your 2 plus 4i must be equal to 2 plus 4i to get this third accuracy mark. In the second part, we get the first mark for correctly identifying where our two limiting points intersect with our, with our given point. So finding minus 4, 4i and 4, 4i as these two limiting coordinates there. And our second point is a method mark for using some method like we used 
but looking at our, our horizontal line there and seeing how far, how many we need to add x or subtract x, there's one method mark for an appropriate method that would find you the 2 and the 6, even if maybe you, you accidentally think it's 1 and 6 and get the wrong answer, you still get two marks altogether in this part. And then your third part is for correctly stating that p belongs to an open interval from minus 6 to 2, which you could also write as minus 6 is less than p is less than 2 and still get the correct still get the mark. The third part, our first mark, is for identifying that in our case, the modulus of z minus a equals a. So we're given that we want it in the form modulus of z minus a equals k. If we say that modulus of z minus a equals a, we get one mark. Our second mark we get for correctly putting the numbers of the circle equation into the circle equation, our 2 minus a squared plus 4 minus 0 squared equals a squared. And our third mark is an accuracy mark for finally getting the mod of z minus 5 equals 5. So that's our complex numbers question. Any questions about it, please feel free to put in the comment box below. Uh, again, if this has been useful to you, I recommend you to subscribe to the channel so you can keep updated with any new videos that we do. And feel free to browse through other videos available at www.mathswithdavid.com. Thank you for listening.